day and welcome to today's tutorial class. My name remains Oluwa Tumbi, Blessed or La Lekon, the founder of Michael Tech, all right? Uh, sorry for my voice, all right? So today we'll be considering this problem as displayed on the screen right here. We'll consider this problem. And this is the uh, series four of the topic auxiliary projection which we started some few weeks back all right so today we'll be considering these two views all right as we all know this is a first angle orthographic projection all right this is the front view while this is the plan all right and as we can see on the front view this area is what is a curve we are having a curve here unlike other problems which we've solved earlier that they are always maybe something straight but in this uh, scenario we're having a what a curve so how do we trace out our curves in auxiliary projection so that is the major thing i actually wanted to point out here today all right so for this object remember i told you the first thing is what know how this object is going to look like pictorially which is isometrically all right and uh, for this particular object, if I'm going to turn this to isometric train, I will be having this figure. Considering I am standing at this junction here, considering I am standing right here, if I'm going to convert this object to isometric, I will be having this. right this is what we will be having and take note you will agree with me that this same shape we are having here we are having this same shape at the back here you will agree with me right that is it we are having that same shape at the back there all right and this area that we are having here we are having the same thing at the back here but can we see it at the back here no we can't and we have this same line that connects the upper part here we have another line that connects this area also which is unsafe which is actually unsafe all right so if i'm going to actually give uh, my figures a letter if i'm going to give it later okay before i actually give it letters okay so it is easier for me to pinpoint every junctions we are having here at what at 45 degrees so i'm going to actually uh, project every junction i have here at what at 45 degrees so starting from this area upwards like that upwards like that this right here, faintly. Right there. Right there. Right there. Now, take note of this. How many elevations? Okay, I'm going to produce my what? My auxiliary plane, which is my what? My X1, Y1 plane, which is also going to act as my what? As my mark what? Zero. So this is my ground what? Ground zero right here. That's my ground zero, okay? So this area, from zero to this area, I trace it. That's my what? Mark one. And this is mark what? Mark two. So with my compass, I transfer zero to one. Zero to one. Let's assume these are one. Right? And zero to two. Let us assume these are what? These are mark two. So I've located every point on my elevation right here. Remember, we are producing what? The auxiliary elevation of this object, all right? The auxiliary elevation. Now, we only have these points, but we have this curved part. We have this curved part. So how do we locate this curved part? Now, remember, we can divide a circle. Remember, anytime you are doing something that has to do with loci, you know it involves circles, and most of the time we divide those circles into what, 12 equal parts, all right? So some things like a link or crank mechanism, you know, Archimedean spiral and the likes, okay? So cycloid and the likes, so we divide our circle into 12 equal parts. And by the time we divide our circle into 12 equal parts, if we divide our circle into 12 equal parts, the quadrant in our circle is going to be divided into how many equal parts? 0, 1, 2, 3. 3 equal parts. That's the meaning. Our quadrant is going to be divided into, what? into 3 equal parts. And with what I am having here, what I'm having here is what? Is a quadrant. Is a quadrant that is a quarter of a circle that's what we have in there so using the same technique of how to divide a circle into four equal parts i'm going to apply it here 
Okay, so you know, I'm going to pick the radius of my curve either here to here, then standing at this mark, I mark it. Standing at this area, I mark. Okay, so this is a mark on its own. So this mark is a mark what? Mark one here. So this mark here, I can call this mark uh, maybe mark three. All right, this mark here, and you call this mark what? Mark four. Do you see that? Now, from this elevation, I will project each of these marks to go to the plan. So right here, I'm having what? This right here, and what? This right here. So at both ends, we what? We project those points also. So right here, I am projecting what? This, like this. Then right here, I am projecting what? I am projecting this, like this. So at the bottom here, this will be projected like this. Okay. Why? At this area here also okay you know i'm actually drawing with my idea so you have to use your instrument so you should give me what is actually correct on your paper okay so you should be able to produce what is actually genuine on your paper so from this junction also we what we project all right after projecting we need to give it letters all right so i will call this a b C, D, and E. Small letter A, small letter B, small letter C, small letter D, and small letter E. Okay, and if we look at it right here, these are what? Capital letter A, and capital letter A is, right? is ranging from mark what? Mark 0 to what? To 3. That's a capital letter A right here. These are what? Small letter A right here, and what? Right here. Take note. So, this area is a what? Is a small letter b why at the back is about capital letter b okay so in between we have our uh, cd why this is our, is our e this is my small letter e small letter e this is my what? capital letter e so take note take note all right so how do we trace it let us trace out what is feasible so let us ignore this curved part let us straight up trace out this shape first and now if i am standing right here when I'm standing right here, I am seeing what? The whole of this area and what? And this area. Okay. And if I'm going to lay that flat, it is going to be something like this. I am saying something like this. And something like this. You will agree with me. Right? This and this combined. That is what we are having. So how do we produce this V auxiliary Kali? So follow me. So my capital letter A, this is my what? Capital letter A right here. To what small letter A? And my small letter A is V. This is my small letter A right here. Okay. And all the way to what to small letter E. And where's my small letter E? Right here. So I'm going to first of all join those areas at mark what? Mark 3. Because this is mark 3. And this is mark 3 here. Everything. Capital letter I, small letter I, and what? Small letter E at mark 3. At mark 3. So we joined. Now, if we look at the back here, this area, you know, this is our capital letter E. Small letter A and what? Small letter E. You agree with me, right? So my capital letter A from Mark 3 joins. I mean, I said Mark 3. Mark 2. This area is our Mark 2, sorry. From Mark 2 joins to what? A at Mark 0. So which is this? Alright. Then it goes to what? Small letter A. Our small letter A. This is our small letter A right here. Alright. So we have this. Now, our small letter A at the bottom here, joint small letter B at the bottom. Where is our small letter B? This is our small letter B here at the bottom. So which is what? Here to here. Which is Z settled. Okay. Our small letter A joins mark what? Mark 0, 1. Mark 1. You know this is mark what? 0, this is mark 1, and this is mark what? Mark 2. All right. 0, 1, 2, E from 2 to 1, E from 2 to 1, which is this right there. Now, how do we figure out the curves? How do we figure out the curves? Now, mind you, we only replicate 0, 1, and 2. We haven't replicated mark 4 and mark 3. So, we call this our mark 4, and this our mark 3. Okay, this mark 4, this mark. So take note of those marks, guys. Take note of those marks, alright? Now, 
my mark four aligns with what C. You see, mark four aligns with what C on the plan. So mark four with C. Here's our small letter C. You know we are doing this area first, which is what small letter. This area is what is small letter. Now my small letter C. This is my small letter C right here with mark four. This is where they meet. You see, small letter C and mark four. They meet right there. So note this junction. Okay. Now the next stop three. Three to what small letter D. And these are small letter D right here to mark three. And this is where they meet. Coming they meet what right here. Then two. I mean our what our last mark here. This one is very same. So with your French curve, you would you point out the curves with your French curve. So if you are doing it on paper, it is going to be actually perfect. Okay. It's going to be perfect, so don't mind my sketch on the board. So, noting the point you got, you join them with your, with your French code. Okay, now, this area at the back, you know, this area, you know, if we tilt this object the other way around, you know, we'll be having this. You know, this is what we'll be having. So which means we can't see this area right here and we need to show it. Likewise, oh, sorry, likewise we can't see this area here and we need to show it. So let's first of all sort out this capital letter here. And our capital letter here ranges from here, from mark 2 to what, to 1. So our capital letter here at the back, this is our capital letter here at the back, from 2 to 1. This is it. It's going to what? E D. And when it gets to 1, it joins what small that E. So from here to what? Smaller than he. So that area is set like that, all right? So next thing, this same curve we are having at the front here. We are having it at the, what, at the back here, but can we see it? No. So now, this area you can see uh, what our character letter. So the same technique we apply here is where we are going to what? Apply. So character letter B with what? Mark zero, right? At the bottom. Because this one is B. This place was capital letter B with mark zero. So this mark zero and capital letter B, where they meet? So they meet here, take note. So my capital letter C with mark four. This is my capital letter C with mark four. Okay, C with mark four. This is it right here. Do you see that? Our capital letter D with mark three. This is our capital letter D, mark three. This is it right here. Okay, now then our E with mark what mark one. So which is right here. So at the back here, we are going to join those points together and it is going to be giving us what uh, a uh it's going to give us an eating details. Okay, it is going to be what in line. But all you can see too with your French curve, yeah. You are going to use French curve, okay. With your French curve, you draw it out with what with eating details. With hidden details, so and that is the uh, solution to the problem as displayed on the screen. So whenever you come across anything that has to do with curve, if it is a full curve, you divide into twelve equal parts. It is a semi circle. You know how to do that. Just the same principle of dividing of what of circles. That is what you are going to apply, and you trace that point directly to the, to the plan. Then you project and what and you link them up where they what where they actually what intersect to get your point. Once again, my name remains Oluwatumbi Blessing Ola Leko, the founder of Michael Tech. Kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.